Hey everybody, welcome back to Twin Trivia Studio. Today I'm going to show you how to configure the Xbox controller in the Wiimote sideways position so you can play games like New Super Mario Bros. Wii and Kirby's Epic Yarn. So sit back, relax, get those knickers out of a twist, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's just dive into it, shall we? So to configure the controllers in Dolphin, it's really easy. You go to the icon where it says controllers, click that. Then see the bit where it says emulate the Wii's Bluetooth adapter, Wii Remote 1. Make sure that has emulated Wii Remote clicked. Click that, click configure. Then in the device section, make sure it says X input zero gamepad or X input one gamepad, depending on where your controller is configured to. Click that X input gamepad. If it's not there, make sure your gamepad is connected and click the refresh button and it should appear. And the first button we're gonna to wanna to configure is the jump button, which is two. We're gonna configure that to A, because I think that is the most comfortable. And the next one is the one, which is the sprint button in Super Mario Brothers. And we're gonna to wanna to configure that to button X. Then the plus button, which is the start button. We're gonna click that to start and the menu to back. Then our D-pad, which is going to be up, down, left, and right. And the next one, we'll go to motion simulation tab and we want to configure the shake button. Now this is the jump and shake, it does a little twirl and I usually adapt that to the left trigger button because it just feels the most comfortable. So X, left trigger, Y, left trigger, Z, left trigger. And as you see when I press it, the little dots move, that means that it's there. When I click the A button, it goes bold, X, up, down, left, right on the D-pad start and select and you can see them all there then to make sure all this works correctly there is an option section here and we click the bit where it says sideways Wii remote now the a and b buttons don't really get used in this game so you can assign them to whatever you want just in case you want to use them so if i was to do it i'd have the a button as b and the b button as y and we're good to go i'm just going to test this out and make sure that it works and there we go I'm jumping with the A button, sprinting with the X button. If I want to do a little spin, if I want to do a little spin, I press the left trigger. Now, if you're happy with that configuration, go back to the controllers menu, click configure, and type in new Super Mario Brothers or whatever you want in the profile section here and click save and that will save the profile. As you can see, I've got different profiles for different games. So whenever I play new Super Mario Brothers or Kirby's Epic Yarn, I click on that and click load and it'll load in my configuration. Now, if you want to use the analog stick, you are more than welcome to. You just go on the D-pad bit here where it says up, move the analog stick up, where it's down, move the analog stick down, left and right, and you can use the analog stick if you want. I just prefer the D-pad for games like this. And that's everything for this video. If you've liked this video, please hit that like button. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. And as always, don't do anything I wouldn't do.